outfit of the day. Okay, can we just talk about this bra? Like, how nice is this? I love. Makeup done. Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am literally in such a rush this morning because I'm heading into the city to train with Layla, which I'm so excited about. We always have the best sessions. So I thought I'd take you along with me. I've literally got, we've got to leave by 50. So I'm just gonna make a really quick breakfast. I'm literally just gonna have a bagel with some jam on it. And then I'm gonna have a clear away shake oh my god oh wow i'm gonna have a clear away shake for on the go this one is from women's best cherry lemonade you can use code elmafit to save 10 percent. and actually they've got a huge birthday sale on at the moment if you haven't seen it already yeah i'm gonna have these two carbs protein and then we're gonna head into the city I literally woke up this morning in so much confusion. I was like, why is my alarm going up? I never set an alarm. But yeah, I know where we are now. I'm excited for today. I've got a busy day, but yeah, just a busy morning. I'm gonna go into the city train and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna make some yummy lunch. And I'm basically just gonna do like, look how much I'm shaking. I'm gonna do a full day of eating and training because you guys literally requested it so much. Mm. I'm not even hungry, but we're fueling our workouts. Five minutes. Here with Layla. <laughs> <laughs> you literally look insane. No, I didn't do that. Oh my god, this light. <laughs> So I've just actually finished with Layla. I went to a meeting and grabbed a coffee and now I'm with this one back together again. For about five minutes. Five minutes. And I'm actually starving. I need to go home and make some lunch. You know when you feel like sick because you're that hungry? I have your whole daily intake worth of calories in my brekkie. How, how many calories are your brekkie? 1450. Yeah, I literally so had nearly, a bagel. Guys, all I've had today is a bagel. I'm about to have a protein bar. I'm actually starving. No wonder I'm hungry. Does anybody just get in from not being in the house and just grab a biscuit because I do. These white chocolate digestive guys, they are unbelievable. Mm. Ooh, well. Apparently they're exclusive to Sainsbury's. Not an ad, but I am obsessed. Just did a huge weekly food shop and wanted to show you guys what I picked up for this week. Now I went a little bit hard on the fruit and veg because I've got some really good like pasta salads planned and one of them requires quite a lot. It's like a chicken satay noodle salad. So I also picked up these. But yeah, that's why I've got quite a lot. So I've got pomegranate seeds because I'm gonna be putting these in a halloumi chopped salad. I'm really excited for that one. Then we've got some carrots, spinach, onions, lemon, cabbage, tomatoes, these mini cucumbers. I am obsessed with these. I don't know why, they're just so cute and they taste really good. We've got some mushrooms, ginger, coriander, parsley, and then a red pepper. For my sauces this week, I actually picked up this just because for ease, to be honest, I'm gonna be making a one pot pasta dish tonight and I really couldn't be bothered to season anything. So we're gonna go with that. It's just so easy. It's got all the vegetables in it as well and it's no added sugar. I've got this, which is a roasted red pepper pesto. This is actually like a cheaper version of the one I've been using. And I think I think this was like one pound something but again looks really good then some light coconut milk to go in my pasta for like the dairy 
dairy side of things, I've got some oat milk, the breast one, that's what I have every morning in my coffee, some lighter cheese, and then some lighter halloumi. I pick this up in Sainsbury's, I get asked about this all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna be making a lighter halloumi salad this week. And that's gonna be with like the pomegranate and all the good stuff. Then for snacks, I've got some blueberry balvitas. Guys, these have been sold out for so long and they are back. We've got some white chocolate digestives. I love these at the moment, they're just too good. Then some salted peanuts. I'm not actually going to be snacking on that, but that is to go in my Saturday pasta salad pot thing. And we've got some egg noodles, like I said, and then love, love, love these sticky rice pots. Again, I get asked about these all the time. They are the best. This just makes rice taste like 10-10. It's just honestly so good, and they just pop in the microwave for a minute. Coffee-wise, I always just have like these Starbucks ones because they're so easy to just pick up in the supermarket or I'll get like the Nespresso ones. And then for my meat this week, I've just got some chicken breasts. I buy this and I'll like freeze some of it if I don't use it. And then I also picked up these. I've never tried them before, but I wanted a low-fat pork sausage. I am currently tracking my food very loosely because, guys, I'm going back into a lean bulk very soon. I'm really excited. Obviously, I did a bulk from January to May this year, if you've been following me, and I honestly enjoyed it so much. I felt like it gave me a purpose. I felt like my training was literally the best it's ever been, and I was just loving life, like loving the food, loving creating the content, and everything was just going really well. Then, obviously, I I did a bit of a mini cut for summer which i'm glad i did because i did feel a bit fluffy and i do definitely feel much better for it over the summer but now we're kind of heading into autumn in fact to be honest it's autumn already in london i just want to have a bit of a purpose again and i really want to enjoy my training and have like a massive goal with it so in about i think sort of two weeks depending on something huge that might be happening in my life i'm gonna be going back into a lean bulk so i want to see where i'm at at the moment and i want to make sure that i'm kind of edging towards the calories that i want to be aiming for i think when i start my lean bulk i want to be aiming for at least two and a half and then i'll build up from there so yeah i just want to see where i'm at because i don't feel like my diet at the moment is that great and i want to make sure that i'm eating enough protein and that i am kind of slowly increasing those calories back so that when i start it i'm not like oh my god i am so full so yeah at the moment today, so far I've had 815 calories, which actually isn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be because I was feeling like really hungry when I met Kieran. But yeah, I've had my clear whey shake. I had my bagel. I had a protein bar. I literally chewed one of these <laughs> whilst walking. I always feel really weird when I eat and I walk, but that's the kind of person I am. Um, and yeah, I just had a digestive biscuit. So 60 grams of protein and 815 calories. Guys, if you struggle to get your protein in, you need to be having clear whey. It's honestly been my life saviour. Like, I feel like that's the only way I can get protein in whilst enjoying it, especially like in like shape form. And at the moment, my smoothie blender is broken, so I can't blend anything up, which is really annoying. But anyways, I'm starving still, so let's make some lunch. I'm gonna make some honey sesame chicken. Kind of feeling rice and chicken, and I wanna mix in like some veg it's gonna be like really saucy so these ingredients that you're gonna need okay to make my honey sesame chicken we're going to need some rice that's gonna be mixed with some peppers carrots broccoli then for the chicken seasoning we're gonna use some paprika then i've actually got this from this salt company this is so good and they do loads of different seasonings and stuff i'd really recommend but yeah that's got like garlic and rosemary in it and we've got some chicken breast I'm going to make enough for two portions. We've got some sesame seeds, ketchup, olive oil, corn flour, brown sugar, garlic, honey, and soy sauce. I'm actually going to weigh out the chicken just because I am loosely tracking. So I'm going to use oh, around 200. Actually, that's fine. That's 250. So it's 125 in each. That's fine. Oh, I'm just going to slice this up. Then we're just going to season this with some of this seasoning, not too much because it is salt, and then some paprika. I've just covered the chicken in some foil and then I'm going to air fry it for around 20 minutes at 180. Next up, we're going to make the sauce. So we're going to use honey, soy sauce, a little bit of brown sugar ketchup, sesame seeds, corn flour, and some garlic. And we're just gonna combine that in a bowl. And then when the chicken's cooked, we're just gonna pour it in and mix it.
And there is our honey sesame sauce. Next, I'm just gonna chop up my veggies. This is just gonna be for the rice. And then we'll make the rice, then just combine it all. I like to add a little bit of the sauce to the veggies. Here is our sticky honey sesame chicken. Yum. Okay, I'm sorry, but how good does this look? I'm so excited to eat it. This was so easy to make and you could really simplify it as well, but I went a little bit extravagant with everything. Okay guys, here goes my honey sesame chicken. It looks so good. I would actually normally track it before eating it, but because I'm not like tracking to hit my macros and my calories, I'm not really gonna be that anal. Like it doesn't matter what I have today. I just wanna get an idea as to what I'm eating. Oh my God. This is better than Chinese. So good. Unbelievable. Lunch is done. Guys, I've just suddenly come over in like tiredness. I don't know, I feel like I've had such a full on morning that when I then finally like chill, I'm like, oh my God. But anyways, every sort of Monday, well, Monday to Wednesday, I always do my client check-ins and then Thursday, Friday, we kind of like work on their plans and I'm so excited because I am doing my biggest ever autumn challenge. So I'd say like maybe like three to four times a year, we hold a challenge where we take on some new clients and we kind of like create a bit of a community. We have like WhatsApp, we all post like recipes, workouts, tips, tricks, snacks we found. And it's just like so motivating. And we kind of do this like, I'd say like three or four times a year. And I just love it because I love the motivation from everyone and it's good to get like a like-minded group of people together so yeah for my coaching which is Eleanor Fit Coaching I'll put the link here you guys can check out if you want um we're doing our biggest ever autumn challenge and we're actually having like a big prize at the end of it for like the best not like the best physical transformation because I always feel like it's not always about that it is like obviously that's a big part of it for sure but also like dedication what you've put into it um how much like your mentality has like changed and there's just so much that goes into like a fitness transformation besides the physical look so yeah applications for that open on sunday so i'm getting ready for that and then i've got my clients that i check in like i said but i love checking my clients it's so good to catch up with them sort of every single week and see how they've been getting on work is done i've just had a delivery from amazon i've actually ordered I'm kind of obsessed with like jars and stuff at the moment. And you all know how much I love a good pasta salad. Well, I saw these jars and I thought they'd be perfect for like making pasta salads. These little jars, I'm gonna like fill them with pasta and like layer it. I literally love them, they're so cute. I think they were like 17 pounds on Amazon and you get three of them. So it's actually really decent. And they're actually really good quality as well. I literally love these jars. I'll link them below guys so that if you want to get them, you can also. But they've actually arrived just in time for dinner because I'm going to be making a pasta salad recipe, but I'm just going to give these a little bit of a wash. I've also just calculated the calories for my lunch. So that recipe that I made, the sesame honey chicken, there were 521 calories and 39 grams of protein. So yeah, a really decent amount of food. I have currently eaten, hang on, I also had a Belvita bar whilst I was working. Total calories for today so far are 1,566, 102 grams of protein, 204 grams of carb, 41 fats. Pretty good, I feel. All right, let's make dinner because I'm really hungry and I want to make it before my sister gets home. I'm just gonna wash these out, but oh, how cute. If you haven't guessed it already, for dinner, we're gonna be making a pasta salad, but I'm actually gonna be using this tomato and mozzarella tortellini. I can't remember if I used this last time on my YouTube, but this, I have tried stuffed pastas, okay? And nothing compares to this one from Sainsbury's. 
I actually used some of it the other day, it's about half open. But yeah, tomato mozzarella by Sainsbury's, 10-10. We're gonna be making a tortellini pasta salad in my lovely jars with this. We're gonna be laying it up with some chicken, halloumi, and then we're gonna make like our own dressing at the bottom as well. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna need. Okay, we're gonna need some chicken breast. Obviously you can use whatever protein you like. I've got chicken breast. I was actually gonna use some bacon medallions, but they're gone off. So we're not gonna talk about that. We've got some low fat halloumi. I'm gonna add some of that in. Um, the stuffed pasta, mini cucumbers, like I showed you from my shop, baby spinach. Then we've got some seasoning here, paprika. This one is actually lemon pepper. It's actually just salt, but it tastes really good. Then we've got lemons and some tomatoes. I've actually just ordered some more of these pans also. I get so many questions on them. Not sponsored at all, by the way. I really wish it was, but these are from our place. They've actually got massive sales. I've just ordered the whole collection because it was literally like 40% off. So yeah, if you want this pan, now is the time to get it. got our cooked halloumi, the cooked tortellini pasta. And then over here, we've got our cooked chicken, some chopped up lemon, tomatoes, cucumber, and then I've also chopped up some spinach. Now we're going to assemble. So you wanna take your jar, then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil. Don't be afraid of this. Honestly, olive oil is not the enemy. We can still have it. Then we're gonna add in some lemon juice. Be sure to obviously make sure the pips are out of it. Then just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I was just thinking you could definitely add in some balsamic vinegar, so I think I might do that. I feel like that will taste really good, so we're just going to add in a little bit. I'd say like half a tablespoon. I literally love balsamic vinegar. Okay, next up we're going to add in our cooked pasta. It's made the jar all steamy. <laughs> then we're going to add in our spinach. And push that down then we've got the tomatoes and our cucumbers these are so cute finally we're going to add in our cooked chicken and there we go there is our pasta salad pot if you were meal prepping this i would really make sure that everything is obviously cool before you put it in but as we're going to be eating it it's fine so if you're meal prepping this, I would just pop on the lid, leave it obviously all to cool before, and then just place it into the fridge for three days. So as we are not meal prepping this, we are going to tip it out. And this is how you're gonna eat it. So you literally just cover it on the plate, and then we tip it out. All the dressing comes through, coats the salad. And that is, you have your pasta salad. Ah, I'm so excited to eat that. Now I just take a fork and a knife and I just mix it through. Oh my God, it literally looks so big because there's so many leaves. This honestly looks absolutely insane. Look at the volume on that. So I used 100 grams of raw chicken and 120 grams of that tortellini, all dry weight. And the total calories for this whole bowl were 584. And we've got a massive 49 grams of protein. This, this is absolutely huge. I don't know why it's come out so big, but yeah. That's exactly the calories for this and calories looking quite good for the day. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely stuffed. That was so good. I've just looked at my total calories today. I'm actually quite happy with that. So far I've had 2,150, 150 grams of protein, hang on. 246 carb and a 65 fat. So all in all, a really good day and a really good kind of foundation now for me to build on because that is my maintenance, like 2000 to like two, three, I think is around my maintenance. Actually, maybe like 1900. I mean, I need to work out properly now, but yeah, roughly around there. So yeah, I'm at a really good place now to kind of work on that and start increasing it slightly before obviously we start the lean bulk. And of course, I'm really going to guide you guys through it and tell you exactly what I'm doing. I feel like it'd be so good to get quite a few of us together over like the autumn slash winter period doing it because it's such a great time to do it like that time of the year when we're not too worried about, you know, what we're kind of looking back like so much because obviously we're not in bikinis, we're not on holiday 
period. Yeah, loads of us can definitely do it over the autumn winter period. Like, let me know down below if you want to join. I feel like maybe we could get like a group chat or something together where we could all like do it. And I feel like that would be so motivating. I'm going to wrap it up there, guys, because I need to wash my hair. It is looking so greasy, like incredibly greasy at the top. I haven't washed it in like a week. Don't tell anyone that. And then I'm going to literally just chill before heading to bed. And I might have a couple of biscuits or something with some tea. Um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye guys. Bye.